Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since I've last done an update. I've been so busy over the autumn and winter, and since I've just last touched a robot, which was a few months ago. But I've done a fair bit since the last event. I've done quite a few updates. One major update is the new base, as you can see, which was 6 mil HDP, but that flexed too much and the robot got caught on the floor, which is annoying and can drive. So I've changed it from 6 mil HDP to 3 mil aluminium, which you can see down there. It's all screwed onto the chassis, everything's mounted on it. Pretty much the same as it was on the 6 mil HDP, but just aluminium. So it shouldn't flex and be a bit stronger. Uh, other major thing is speed control is gone. It stopped working on me, so pretty annoying. It just died. First time I used it, just uh, first event, just died on me, so gone to a Turnergy 85 amp speed controllers, the brushless ones that I had myself, absolutely brilliant they are, they're so good, they're much better than any other speed controllers, but, but if anyone wants a speed controller, get that, they are brilliant, um, what I'll be running them on the motors here, the drive motors, which will be running parallel, and then I have to have a mixer, it goes to the spectrum, and then the new lifter motor, which is a DeWalt 907 motor, out of a drill, same as that, this one's broken though, all the fans have come out there, and it's pretty mucked up. Uh, it's in its casing, because the gearbox comes apart from the motor, where it will twist as you can see there, no, it's just fallen off, put that down, yeah you see just there falls off, so it's in the casing and holds it apart. No, it holds it together. <laughs> uh, still got the two speed thing there, that's pretty hard to twist so it shouldn't come undone in battle. Mounted very steadily onto the base. This big here with bolts, coach bolts coming through there and mounted on the back. Uh, new chuck on there, which isn't broken, which holds a threaded rod that will probably bolt, put a bolt through there, in through the threaded rod, or weld it in. Uh, threaded rod's the car jack. Same as last time, but a bit shorter because it was hitting the big hefty lifter plate, which is 4.2 mil hardened steel on 6 mil HDP. Same as last time. Uh, what I had to do was cut a little hole there because it still doesn't go. That right, still goes through there and hits there. Didn't want to make it any shorter because I didn't get enough travel. Um, what else has happened? Batteries still the same. No, just over there. Uh, May upgrade to LiPo, which I've done. Got from the Eurobot this big Gen Z battery there for my new flipper, which the pneumatic systems down there. Yeah, you see, I've got a two kilogram CO2 bottle that I'm testing on, Trev Rig, all the stuff down there, buffer tank. Uh, that's the RAM I was testing on, but that's the good one, but it's only 32 more ball. What I was using was this big thing here which has got such slow uh, flow rate, it's useless. It takes ages to actuate, like a second, and that's instant over there. Um, that's pretty much everything I've done, and I'm gonna do. Uh, I may also change the uh, limit switches. Just got one there, one there, which is connected to this here. So there's a bit of metal here, that there threads through that hole there. That one just there. If you can see it there, which then has a stopper. Uh, the thread, the rod comes through there. When it comes back, it hits that limit switch, which stops the travel. And then the same one there. There, that left a bit there. Just there, hits that, and it stops. Um, they work quite well. They had a bit of a delay, so may make it slightly the tolerance slightly better because it did kind of jam itself shut in one fight rather annoying um, that's pretty much everything I'm going to do to it going to keep it the same going to spend most of, more, most of the time on the new robot which is a 4 bar flipper yes 4 bar flipper very interesting uh, so I think it's going to be the only for, it's the first featherweight pneumatic four bar flipper and it's been a bit of a challenge gonna be a challenge build so uh, hopefully come next year or so 
but I'm going to spend a lot of money on that and a lot of time. I'm going to get it fully milled out of aluminium block and everything. Going to be a very nice robot, custom built drive, everything. So go and push for once, which is pretty good for me. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, a like if you could drop a like or comment, that would be brilliant. I'll reply to all of your comments. It just helps me so much with my YouTube channel. That'd be brilliant guys, I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and goodbye.